no kilogram, what's good? Ain't nothing, a lot of cowards frontin'. I hear what you saying. Alright, yo, it's your man Kilogram. Chain of Command Records, you already know, Urban J Productions, Trenton on the rise. This is how we getting it up. Salute. I ain't even mad. Your homie messing with your enemies, the new fad. Proof. Uh-huh. Um, actually, a lot of people think I got the name Kilogram from like being in the street selling keys and shit like that. It, it was not like that. I really, my name, my first name is Kevin. So as a youngster, I remember being, being in science class and I looked in the back of the science book and you know they got the metric system in the back too, you know what I mean? Mm. And um, I wanted to, I wanted to pick a name that started with the initial K, you feel me? Right. So I seen in the back it said KG. I'm like, oh, I'm going to call myself KG. Okay. But then when I found out that it was abbreviated for kilogram, I just said, hold on. You know, the name kilogram will make people say, oh, okay, who this cat? You know what I mean? Right. It, it could distinguish me from other rappers as far as my name whole weight. You know, the highest thing on a metric system is a kilogram. You dig me? So I feel like that in the rap game. You know what I mean? My name whole weight, I'm at the top of the food chain. You dig me? Yeah. How these n****s coming though? How these n Coming out. Test me, that, 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 that's how they go. Um, I, I first started writing um, growing up in Roger Gardens, man. I think the first time I heard "Walk This Way" by Run DMC, I, I just knew I was like, "Wow, that's that's my calling right there." You feel a cat named Antoine Brown? He had the record on 12 inch. He brought it upstairs to me, like, "Yo." Run DMC, man, they got this hot record out. They got the King go to Adidas. So, you know, ever since that moment, I was captivated. I can't lie, the game's been good to me. Let's take introduce the whole hood to me. I got fans. Um, I realized I was nice, man, when. I was doing things in, you know, in elementary school, whether it be the lunchroom or when I first got into, uh, you know, junior high and stuff like that. You know, just kicking rhymes at the lunch table and you got all the girls around you cheering you on. From that point on, it's just like, all right, you know what I mean? Niggas two-faced, niggas be playing the devil's advocate. Smile in your face, they phony and I ain't mad at it. Turn your back on a nigga, he contemplates stabbing it. I would say it had to be LL Cool J. Like LL Cool J just watching him on the screen, the chains, the ladies, the cars. I mean, immediately I just knew, like, as soon as I seen him, you know what I mean? Like, I just said to myself, like, wow, like, look at the lifestyle this guy lives, you know what I mean? Every day he's in the studio, he got money to burn. Like, it, that, that, that just, after I seen LL Cool J, I think that that, that really kind of like made me say, like, you know what, this is, this is a, a career I could go after. That's how they're gonna go. Faking jacks around these parts, we stay 100 though. That record deal, we in the trap, we don't wanna blow. How these n****s coming though? How these you know, just growing up on Ellsworth, man. Like, you know, growing up with, you know, cats like yourself. Like, I mean, I just feel at that time, it was it was such an innocent, you know, quarter waters, a dollar worth of candy, Martinez, Supremes, like, you feel me? Like, I just feel like I love that part of, I love that part of my life because we could be ourselves, man. I mean, I just think that innocence is gone, you know what I mean, in life now, you know what I mean? Nowadays, cats is picking up guns and, you know, the gang banging. I just feel like cats back then, when we was growing up, it was a little bit more authentic. We went outside at 8 o'clock in the morning and probably came in at 10 o'clock at night. Uh-huh. You feel me? So exactly. I just feel like, like I said, I used that word innocence, man. It was just like genuine love. It was respect. We all came tight-knit. Still to this day, I see a couple cats like yourself and it's love because we remember each other from a time where it was no politics. It wasn't what gang you with, what set you with. It was like, yo, he from Ellsworth. It's just like, if you ever get, go, get a chance to visit Ellsworth, you don't know them cats on Ellsworth. Nah, you don't. You don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas is getting shot on Ellsworth. On Ellsworth. Like, remember, that was the quietest block. Yeah, exactly. Everybody yeah. knew each other. It was like yeah. living in the burbs, but yeah, we Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I guess I gotta get at some cats. New fraud alert. Two hoes on me issue. Um, shout out to my brother, rest in peace, Thomas Lionel Marshall, good cat. Um, I'm drawing all my inspiration from him right now. I lost him in March 09 due to diabetes. 
good, you know, good person showed me everything in life that you know that that I'm I'm now experiencing. Whether it been the hustle game, whether it been you know about girls, whether it been how to fight, you know what I mean. Taught me everything, man. Like he's my inspiration. He's the reason why I'm kicking it in overdrive right now. I'm really trying to take it to the next level, man. His dream was to see me go all the way in this shit. You know what I mean? So I'm not stopping for none of y'all. You feel me? Like y'all haters out there that think y'all can. Stop what I'm doing. Can't deter my, my vision because I got my brother on my back. And we going all the way, man. Hollywood, here I come. I put Trenton on the map, learned the game from Wise Uncle Al and Don Black. Hooked up with Miz, did a song with Crack. I rep Trenton so hard, man, because at the end of the day, I don't care where I'm at, it's no summer. Like spending your summer in Trenton, man. Like the Cowwood Park was popping, Father Rocco, Father Rocco Park. You know what I mean? Uh, my mom used to take us to Carvel Ice Cream and get that. You know what I mean? Like you know, just being in the the projects, just being on Stuyvesant, standing out there watching all the drug dealers drive the drive the fanciest cars. You know what I mean? We got some nice women out there. A lot of people don't know that, but no matter where I went, I always rep Trenton because it's in me. Poor righteous teachers. That's the last really major stream, mainstream artist that we had coming out the city. You know what I mean? I've done a lot of things like 106 and Park, MTV, VH1, Power 99, Hot 97, 100.3 The Beat, Source Magazine, Double XL. So I'm doing these things to make sure I can put us in the light as well and not just be known as, you know, we cast that had PRT. You know? Get your paper, motherfucker, make your moves. I ain't worried about none of you fucking broke dudes. The gloves is off and war ain't no rules. Definitely think outside the city. You know what I mean? Because the only way you're going to make it is you can't just think that your competition is local. You gotta be gunning for the cats like, you know what I mean, that's in the game, whether it be the Lupe's, the B.O.B.'s, the, you know what I mean, the Jewel Santana's. You gotta be placing yourself or making your music accordingly to what they make. Like me, when I when I when I when I set out to do this music, I always knew. I said, hey, I'm seeing that, you know, cats in the city, we all fighting each other, we beefing, we dissing each other on records, ready to go to parties and shoot each shoot each other. I just knew from that point on, I said, hey, maybe you know what I'm doing is too big for the city. And if you keep yourself local and and, 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 and constantly feed off neg negative energy, you'll find yourself progressing. You know what I mean? So that's where we at. How these niggas coming out? Test me, but that, 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 that's how they're gonna go. Spicking jacks around these parts, we stay 100, though. College is some of the best years in your life. I wish I could actually go back to college. Like, that's another part of my life where it was responsibility for you. know, feel me? I went to a historic black college, and one thing that they instilled in me was the, uh, the, the idea of independence. You know what I mean? Like, stepping out on your own, creating from nothing. You know what I mean? I've done a lot of talent shows down there. I met a lot of people, whether it be from D.C., Maryland, Virginia, Florida, uh, Canada, anywhere. Like, so being from Trenton and South Jersey, I never met a person from D.C. Yeah. Or, or to know what their culture was like. Yeah. So I, I, I thank Dell State for giving me diversity. You know? Every talent show that I did down there, I won. You know what I mean? So that also was... And inspired, you know, it inspired me that maybe, you know, what I'm doing as far as musically, that this is not just a hobby. Maybe it's a gift that I got from, you know, from the man upstairs. Shout out to all the women that show me love too. You know, man. Like I got them all over the world right now. You feel me? Showing me love. They seeing a, seeing a nigga on TV. They hit me, hit me up on Facebook, paying homage. Shout out to all y'all. Shout out to all my homies from Newark and, you know, and like I said, Florida, DC, everywhere that I met that showed love that was real. Man. Jays off, I gave him wax. Now I'm in the source, the city was on my back. Popped up on BT, I really said. I would say, um, I started really going hard like uh, 1999. So 99, fast forward now, almost like 12, 12, 13 years. Like, just been going so hard, man. Like, I just knew I had to fall back on something and figure it out. You know what I mean? I went, to, I went to college to be a teacher. You know what I mean? I'm still actually teaching now. On the side, I'm doing the music. You feel me? But. You know, I've done a lot of thing, a lot of things in that 10, 12 year span as far as that, you know, that kind of really created a buzz for myself and, and put some points on the board. Okay. So I had I had a few deals. I had a deal. I was signed to a production company in Atlanta, in Atlanta called Red Zone Entertainment. Um, I was signed to another production label out of Philly called Bomb Threat Entertainment with DJ Corey Yacht. 
uh, with the situation in Atlantic, I was signed to a, a, a mainstream producer by the name of Tricky Stewart. Um, that situation kind of unfolded. Tricky is still doing his thing, though. Shout out to Tricky. But then once I came back from that situation from Atlanta, I just decided to do the whole chain of command thing and, and, and take my career into my own hands. Um, shout out my partner, Miz, Omar, and my other partner, uh, Marky Mango, man. You know, we all collectively came together and put our heads together to start the Chain of Command um, brand. And um, we're going to see where it goes, you know? Out the window through the sunroof, shooting bows, chop and leave a hole in your block. We going UFO, go, fully loaded hammer. I learned the most from from the big homie Jay Z, man. Like that's the person that I look up to. I see, you know, like his story. He came from nothing, man. Like just you know a dude that's standing on the block doing his thing. For him to be a hustler, and he also passed through Trenton, New Jersey. Mm, no doubt. For him to spin off. And turn itself into a multi, you know, millionaire, billionaire, and marry Beyonce and sell 20 million, 30 million records. Right. It shows me that all work pays off and you can do anything you put your mind to it. I kind of try to set my blueprint up as far as me attacking this industry the same way he did. Okay. So. You ain't got a street bone in you, nigga, you're so fool. You would probably shit on yourself if niggas roll through. I be with the bloods, but we'd call it cold. My first major artist that I opened up for, I opened up a show at Dell State for Busta Rhymes, Karen Ron, and Mob Deep. Okay. And I think that was like, that just set a fire in me because I won the talent show in Dell State. They had a, a talent show with all the students. Whoever won could open up for the homecoming. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I actually won. They let me open up and I actually got to meet the stars behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Behind the stage and everything. So that kind of just took it to another level for me. Cameron actually, well Jim Jones actually asked me after I performed, can I come to the uh, his um his van, like his tour van. Right. And he wanted me to spit for Cameron. So he took me to Cameron like, yo, you gotta hear this nigga, man. This nigga got it. You feel me? Right. So I spit like a hundred for Cam. Cam gave me all his numbers and stuff like that. So I actually took a meeting up at Rockefeller with Cam and Jim Jones and everything. They showed me love, told me the door is always open for me. So, you know, it, it was a it was a good experience that spent off me being 18 years old to be able to go from, you know, opening up for these stars to going to New York, sitting down in the record label, meeting with them and being able to call them on the phone. That's when I knew that I had some, you know what I mean? Yeah, one, yo, how these coming though? They must have forgot I run with oh my go on that copo tip, that T Town we run it. A proudest accomplishment I would say is uh, definitely watching my video two times on 106 and Park with New Jersey of the day. Okay. Like coming from Trenton, New Jersey, and, the, and you know, the last artist you really see from Trenton on TV was Paul Rogers Teachers, mm -hmm. which is over 20 something years. Mm -hmm. Like it's a hell of an accomplishment. That's the crazy thing about you know the city that we come from is that, you know, a lot of people show love, but then the envy sets in. But you know, I just, when I, when I watch myself, you know, on TV, at that at that level, coming on after Soldier Boy or, you know, whether it be Jay-Z or whoever, like, I said to myself, I think I got what it takes to compete in this game because BET ain't asked me for a dime. And they aired it and they showed love and it just, they just did it off of good energy, good music. You know? he gave me a hundred stacks. Now I'm on MTV, Phantom Black. Damn. Niggas look sick in the hood, handle that. Um, you, you gotta be a student of the game to have longevity in this game. Like the reason why LL Cool J continued to win every year, no matter if he turned 30 or 40, is because he, he was a student. He, for one, you gotta captivate your lane as far as like finding out what you're good at and just kind of reinventing it and giving somebody something fresh every year. See me, I keep a lot of young dudes around me and I constantly keep MTV on and Hot 97 and, 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 and Power 99 and all the radio stations on and, and I stay on the internet to find out what the consumers or what, you know, the DJs or you know, the program directors at music um, video stations are looking for. And, and don't make music for yourself, make it for the consumer. If you make, like 50 said, if you keep making music for you, you know what I mean? You gotta understand that there's people out there that wanna buy music that they're into. You know what I mean? You can't make music that you're just talking about some local shit right. that people can't relate to. 
you got when you constantly sitting down creating, you gotta write as if somebody in the Philippines listening to your shit. You dig me? First nine off the low down in Atlanta. Me and O would go through the airport in pajamas. Had 20 grand tucked in the duff before the scanners. The hardest thing right now is us being from New Jersey. We don't have our own radio station. You feel me? Philadelphia has their own radio station. New York has their own radio station. We smack in the middle. So we gotta piggyback off both of them. We gotta go to Philly and, and, and kinda play favorites and play the politic game and get our records on the, on the air. You know, do songs with their artists, go to New York and it's the same blueprint. You know what I mean? I can be on 106 in Park, but I'm not from Philly. So how can they feel proud of, of endorsing? You know what I mean? If it was a Philly artist, they, he would be on the radio 24-7. But because I'm from Jersey, it's an intimidation that sets in. People don't understand that the game is just like the streets, it's territorial. Like, you know, if you have New York, you got Philly, you got Jersey. New York, I feel like it's New York, the radio and New York, you know, whatever, their market is only really one, they really want to see their own win. You know what I mean? Like Jersey, we might want to only see our own win. Philly definitely wants to only see their own win. You dig me? So that's just the only politic game. You just gotta learn how to have tough skin in this and just find your way. Cause I, I, I can't complain, I am getting played over there. Like Cosmic Care, he probably playing my stuff right now on the Come Up Show. You know what I mean? I'm always on the Come Up Show. Salute to Cosmic Care. Salute to the DJs at 100.3 The Beat. I've been up there several times. You know what I mean? So I, I'm, I'm definitely grateful, but I just think they make us work twice as hard than you know any other artist that's from their market. Talking this nigga man, he tofu. But you ain't heard, been running Trenton since 02. Stood on the block with Ari and had jokes. I'm outside this studio, man. I'm laid back, man. Cutting the grass, Corona. You know what I mean? Like, chilling with the kids and the family, man. You know, I'm just, like, everything with me, ain't, it ain't rap. Like, everything is not rap. Like, I'd rather be at the park with my kids. You know what I mean? Ice cream truck roll up. We all getting ice cream. Like, I'm just a regular dude. Like, I don't think about rap 24-7. Now that I'm a father, that's the most important role in my life right now. I'm 31 now, so it's like, definitely, I'm always thinking about that plan B. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just always focused on, you know, I, I need a hit record. I just feel like, you know, if it's meant to be, for me to go to that level of a Jay-Z or a P. Diddy, then, you know, God's gonna provide that, but I'm not, I'm definitely not chasing Bank account so done with O's, my sidekick phone go done with I hit they phone, they at my crib and come up out they underclothes. I'm doing my f***ing numbers, yo, I'm Tiger Woods. I'm still inspired by the cats like Nas, Jay-Z, um, of course Big, you know, rest in peace. You know what I mean, pun, rest in peace. Like, I'm, I'm still, it's Jada Kiss, he's one of my favorites. But I would definitely feel like uh, if, if it's one artist that I would definitely say that I'm inspired by right now would probably be the young cat from Philly named Meek Mills. Uh, his situation coming from nothing, and he he came from basically nothing from the bottom, and to see him win and run around with Rick Ross and travel the world and do shows state to state, it just shows me that you know with, with hard work and the right people in your circle, anything can work for you. You know what I mean? Bullshit will rap if you want this where it's at I done bought my second home Filled it up with plaques Kill it yeah, I'm a heavy R&B fan, man. It's, it's relaxing, you know what I mean? Some Mary J, some Jaheim. Yo, you know what's funny? <laughs> We're going to say this. I tell people about Jaheim, and they just do this. <laughs> Jaheim used to play on Ellsworth's ad. Nah, but Jaheim has definitely put his time in in Trent, New Jersey. We used to play with this kid. Shout out to his, lo his little brother, Taquan. You know what I mean? Like, we used to play with these niggas on the block like it was regular yeah. shit. Like, I'm inspired to see Jaheim because I remember him being in Jamesburg, locked up back and forth all the time, getting in trouble just to see him at that level. I mean, come on, man. It's like I, you you grew up with niggas that's making, you know, selling platinum records. You feel me? And for me to be on 106 in Park, I come from nothing. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, cats just got to respect that. Hard work at the end of the day, it pays off. You know what I mean? And that's just what it is. So. Real shoot vest, get hit above the belt. I'm about to call first 48 on myself. Uh huh. Live from the mercy. Well, actually, I got the new project that I just gave you. I mean, it's not new, but this is my latest project that I put out. It's called Left for Dead, hosted by DJ J Ski. Okay. Um, got a lot of cats on there. You know what I mean? I got the K Reed dollars on there. Wise Intelligence is on there. 
uh, Tretch from Naughty by Nature. For this hook coming, yeah. it's just one thing I wanna know. Why you talking sh but in my face don't wanna rumble though. You know I'm with them goonies and they straight uh, out some of the, the artists that I work with. I work with Tretch from, from uh, Naughty by Nature, Wise Intelligence from Poor Righteous Teachers, Gilly the Kid, Mano, Petey Crack from Rockefeller, uh, Shaheen from Wu-Tang Clan. Um, who else? Uh, Reed Dollars from Philly, Big Lou from Camden. Mm. I've actually um, done songs with uh, Victor Moan, Murder Moot from New York. Mm. Um, uh, Do It All from Lords in the Underground. Okay. Nucci Rayo from out in Rawway. Mm. I mean, Flip, man, Little mm. Flip from Houston, Texas. We did, we had a banger on the radio a couple years ago. You know what I mean? So I, I've done, a, I've done a lot of records with with cats that were heavy in the game doing their thing, signed the major situations. They reached out, showed love, and we got it in. Love rap can't chase it forever. In the politics of the game, they making it better. I'm from the era where run had tougher than love. My plans for the future as far as the music is. Um, if you don't know, I actually have an album that's on iTunes right now. It's called Nobody Believe. You can get the full length on iTunes. Um, like I told you before, I put out the mixtape Left for Dead, um, hosted by Jay Ski. I'm working on a new mixtape. Right now, called Nothing Risk, Nothing Gain, hosted by DJ Door. You know what I mean, like, and um, if you're trying to get in contact with me, you know what I mean, you can reach me on Twitter at Kilogram3. That's the, the at sign, Kilogram, K I L O G R A M, the number three. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook. Um, just type in uh, Kilogram, uh, New Jersey's own rapper. You can find me right on there. And um, also, if you're trying to reach me as far as um, collaborations or, or shows or you know or anything like that, you can reach out to my partner. His name is Marky Mangum, and uh, we could be reached through an email called uh, Team Kilogram, the number four at Gmail. That's T E A M K I L O G R A M, the number four at Gmail.com. Right. That's how we're giving it up. Also, you can you can find me on my website. Uh, chain of command ent.com. Okay. I mean, everything that you need about me, bio information, music videos, is all on there. Irvin J Productions. Be on, be on the lookout for them, you know what I mean? If you need, you know, videos, weddings, bar mitzvahs, he's my man. You right. feel me? Holla at your boy. Yeah. Listen, I ain't even mad. Your homie messing with your enemies, the new fad. Wow. I man, guess man, I gotta man, get at some cats man, True. Man, True. Man, New fraud alert who? Man, Two man, hoes man. Army issue 9 milli got man, two of those Arm out the window through the sunroof Shooting foes Chopper leave a hole in your block We going UFO Go Fully load a hammer Bust my first nine off the low Down in the lane